Lights were here. I don't know what city it is. Uh, Wilmington. This time I went the right way. <laughs> All right. Last time I came through the neighborhood, so this time I went the right way. A lot easier this way, right? Get up, I got a stop sign. Under the bridge. Hopefully it's not too busy. We can just strap this down, be out of here in less than an hour, and load in everything, and then um, get on to San Francisco. Okay, so I remember you enter, you get up on the scale. Okay, stop right here, make sure nobody's coming. Everything looks good. Get up on the scale. Get up on it. Get up on it. Get up on it. On my first lean, so we get paid to eat and write ourselves some babes to see what the proof on the t shirts because they hate us. We do it like Snoop says, step in the game off. Double deck of both, and you can manage to run. Alright, let's go down. And if I didn't pass, I'm going to whoop my ass. Because if my phone pop up, it's playing it out. Let's see how many trucks are here. There's nobody in line. So I'm hoping there's only a little bit of people here. Please tell me. Please tell me. In and out. Oh my god. Are you taking me? Okay. Today's gonna be a good day. Today is a good day. Lap's going right now. Uh, we're, we've been throwing straps and putting edge protection uh, while he's loading. Uh, you can do it here. 
I know there's one guy that doesn't like it, but <laughs> uh, these forklift drivers, I just ask them. And I think here they kind of encourage it so you can get out and the next guy can come. So, I'm almost certain. Things are awesome for these kind of loads of wooden feed boards. But you want to make sure this one's on where they, you can see it's one way this way, one way that way. You want to make sure that V board's on there and where it's at. So you see it's here. So make sure you put it right there. Uh, uh, uh. I saw you can get out here pretty quick. I got everything ready. All we have to do now is just tighten. You guys get a load like that one where it's centered you can put the wooden v-board on that one and then straight across to the middle and then uh or just put two straps on the middle like what he did is fine that's how i would do it yeah you don't have an edge protection on that one but that's how i do it He took my uh, and I put it over there. Oh, I was about to say, where my edge protector or my what you call it bungee? Okay, so you guys see that single one is right there, and then it's right here on this pallet. So you want to move it over to the left a little more, like this. See, now it's clamping down on it. Okay. Nice and tight. So I always go around and you can usually get two clicks in so you're not sitting there fighting it. Okay. Then we just need to do two straps back here. We're good to go. Okay, I think he's done. He's done. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is moving already. All right. That's why I don't like these. I like the um, single. I don't like the long ones too much. But look how nice these straps are, guys. Paramount straps. These things are wonderful. Nice. Uh. on the other side we'll use those B boards oh, we'll put it right here all right here there's fine and then this you can tell is if you do this stuff a lot then yeah it makes sense Get out of here, guys. Shit, maybe we can get this thing delivered today. <laughs> I don't think so. It's like 400 miles, 450 miles, but we'll see. But we're playing on um, San Francisco. You guys know my hiding spots down there. And maybe they have overnight parking. I can go shower and then uh, head on down, but I don't think there's any parking down there. Could be wrong. This week I've been off five corridor. Off five. Up and down five. All right, let's go uh, tighten this down. We'll bungee that and we'll be out of here, guys. I only think about ten, five minutes, 10 minutes. We'll be out of here. So we'll see you guys later. All right, guys. Remember what we always do. Tight, tight, tight. Tight. Check it one more time when you go around. See you get one more click, maybe. Ah. Oh,
Yeah, about one more. That's tight. Straps look good, huh? I take a photo of these Paramount straps. Today is a good day. Got to unload it quick. Got to load our new load quick. We got loaded quick. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's bungee this down. I always put only two. Just hook it here. Probably just do it in case DOT says anything. It's not going nowhere, but it's technically secured. Okay, all right, let's get out of here guys. We'll see you later. Or actually, I'll take you guys to the office to get our paperwork. Let's stop recording. Stop recording. Let's look at my view. Hey, you guys know what I should do? Have that camera when I'm backing? Let's see what it looks like. Get my backup camera. Look at that. <laughs> it could be my backup camera. Make sure you guys are looking at your hood mirror. You don't take nothing out. We're gonna park it right here to get our paperwork. Perfect. And perfect. All right, don't make me forget my GoPro. <laughs> Let me go get it now. Ah. I've lost so many GoPros by Jim, just being right here. out okay. damn shit I gained some weight I'm 270 pounds <laughs> uh, James, right yeah right here yeah was today for 25th yeah 25th you never know what day it is oh. all, right. all right man thank you all right we're yeah. hi my name is james with uh central oregon truck company um i have a yeah. delivery for tomorrow i'm only like 400 miles away is yeah. so, um, all the money it covers in the way like 5 5 5 oh you can take me at 5 30 yeah 5 30. all right can you no can you stay the night there or no Okay. You can park in, but uh, this area <laughs> not too good. Oh, it's not. I'm not scared. <laughs> okay, but you can't stay the night. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we yeah, but uh, if you we list, we uh, open six thirty to uh, four thirty, but um, after six we open six thirty, but that time very busy, so you have to wait. But if you come earlier, you know, no waiting. Okay, so five thirty, be awake. You'll be there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then after 10 o'clock. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be, knock okay. on my door if I don't wake up. <laughs> okay. All right, bye. Okay, all right. All right, let's call C and okay, so you guys, we got a hold of them. So now what we're gonna do is since they're not in the office until 6.30, uh, I'm gonna give uh, Dustin a call and I'm gonna tell him if there's a pre- Because to then I can leave San Francisco without any traffic. This is a lot easier. Hey, Peter Pan, this is James. Uh, is Dustin there? Uh, he's here, just not at his desk, but 
You uh, just want to know what he's got going on for you tomorrow? Yeah, let him know. I'm dropping at 5.30 in the morning. I just got a hold of him. Uh, so you guys are in the office till 6.30. So I'm hoping to get yep. me pre-planned so I get the hell out of San Francisco before traffic. Yep, I got you adjusted to 5 a.m. I called him after I sent the load and resent it over to you. But you're showing for 5 in the system. I'll let him know it'll be closer to 5.30 and yeah, we'll get something over to you. Before. Okay, yeah, or just anywhere to head, or just anywhere to head the heck out of San Francisco. <laughs> probably yep. certain, probably certain team. So, okay. All right, I'll let him know, man. All right, thanks, Pete. Right, thanks, dude. I'm um, but... All right, guys, we got everything situated. Let's get out of here. Uh, plan is we're gonna drive, uh, go shower, probably like a Patterson or something. Go check traffic. We're going opposite direction, so I think we'll be all right. But if we have to wait a little bit at Patterson for traffic to die down, it's fine. Uh, by the time they unload us, we just have to be. Um, there at eight o'clock so we get our 10 hour break in so that's gonna be the plan all right you guys so we just got scaled so this truck if you're 72 psi you're right at 34 but the trailer psi if you're at 70 uh right now i'm at like 69 so i'm saying about 70 is your 34 in the trailer so what i did is i got on the scale I got this ticket and then I, on the scale, I looked at the gauge in the trailer and the truck. So these are good loads. These uh, should go to find your center light. So this looks pretty good. Um, so the plan is, I told them, as you guys can see here, uh, 33.9. So I'm gonna get to Lost Hills, put 50 gallons in. We'll be a little over, but that's fine. And then we're gonna fill up again in Patterson, 50 gallons, and we're gonna take a shower there. So two truck stop for fuel and then um, and then shower, and then we're gonna look at traffic. So we're still doing pretty good. Uh, as you can see, uh, our, let's see if it's updated right here. So we are about, 314 miles at 61, 22, 43. I say about five hours in our drive. We have 547 or 551. So we got to get going. I do want to stay the night there because they are open at 530. So uh, our weights are good. We're going to roll out of here and we'll probably guys see you guys in Lost Hills. What's up, everyone? We're here in Patterson. It is 345. Draft's going to be on soon. I watched the Pat McAfee show one, so that should be on. So I want to get a shower in. Uh, what our plan is since the fuel island and how all this works, is I'm going to go shower first. Because if you try to fuel, you have to come back on the road and loop around. Uh, it's not one of those fuel lines where I can just pull forward and park. So I'm actually going to shower first, pull the fuel island, get 60 gallons, and we're going to drive the 90 minutes. In San Francisco, there's no traffic yet. So uh, we have two hours and nine minutes left. So even if it's a little bit of traffic, it's okay. I just need an hour and a half. It's fine. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. We got it. All right, we're gonna park here. I'm gonna show you guys that back up quickly. Okay, so if you wanna park right here, uh, let's find a better spot. No, we park right here. Okay, right here. We're gonna park right here. Turn it as hard as you can. All right, turn, turn, turn. Then you turn hard, hard left. You want to get that trailer right in there. Don't take nobody out. Okay, I want to sh show you guys. Okay, so we'll take it off this for now so this is where I'm going into San Francisco down the 101 and exit here so I'm trying to figure out the best way in there and I'm thinking it's Van Dyke but you see a Google wants me to make right I don't follow Google but I'm trying to keep it simple where I'll have to turn into these tight spots so my plan is just go down 3rd Street and right here is Van Dyke. 
And I'm thinking right here, if it'll load, we'll zoom in. Looks like an easier right turn. <laughs> so right here, you can make a right turn right there. Looks pretty simple. I don't know why this thing is taking forever to load. Let's turn off the Wi-Fi, let's see. Okay, that looks easy to turn. So that's what I'm thinking. That's Van Dyke, that's Lane Street. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go hop onto the 101. We're gonna exit right here. Third Street, take Third Street all the way down to Van Dyke. And Van Dyke, and then it's straight deadhead right here. Uh, and then you can park here for the night. Uh, if there's no cars here, I'm gonna try to situate myself. Cause it looks like you can't go in the yard to turn around and then back up into here. So I don't know this situation right here, if I can make the turn. We'll find out when we get there. So, hour 45 minutes. Uh, I have exactly two hours and eight minutes. So, got about 23 wiggle room, 23 minutes. So we're gonna go for it and just pray. <laughs> it is 4.30 right now, so it might get worse, it might get better, I'm not sure. <laughs> but we're gonna go. So we'll see you guys later. Oh, I almost forgot, we need to get fuel. <laughs> I pulled out of the parking lot and just remembered. So we're gonna pull in here, go get some fuel, and then we'll see you guys over there. Uh, we're just gonna get about 60 gallons. We should be pretty good. Uh, we're just on a quarter tank, and a quarter tank will get me about 300 miles, 350. But we need some fuel being San Francisco, and we're probably gonna pick up in Certainty too. So we're probably gonna do a Certainty run. So I'll make sure I get enough fuel to get the Certainty and out, and then fuel. So we're gonna get 60 gallons. All right, you guys. You can see how crazy this is. <laughs> this is crazy here. There's probably like 15, 20 lanes. Look at all these. <laughs> Wild times. Uh, so this is the, the bridge to get on the toll. You gotta hit all these lights. So they have traffic light signals. So not everybody just jumps jumbles onto the bridge so we're just going at the traffic light uh i think there's like 12 lanes 15 lanes i'm not sure it's crazy though <laughs> close to the pig but we're here and yeah, we're gonna eyeball some of these streets uh, Google wants me to go down this street absolutely not and Garmin wants me to go see these streets I have to hog these two lanes I don't hit these cars right now these streets are all pretty tight Right 
turn. I want to make a, the the, mo, the least turns as possible. So if I make a right right now, then I'm gonna make a left somewhere. So we're not gonna stress out. <laughs> so I'm gonna go down Van Dyke. Look at all these dogs over here. Damn, this place is pretty rough. <laughs> it's a little windy here, but this is the area. Not the best. Not the best, but we got everything locked up. Lock that. Chain that up. I locked my box, locked all the sides. So we should be good to go. Um, not worried. Not to worry at all. I've been to worse places. <laughs> so. Uh, we're gonna lock this box up. And this box will But we're gonna make steaks tonight. This is the place right here. I don't know how we're gonna turn around, but I'm gonna back up a little bit. Uh, I don't know if they open these gates or not, but I'm gonna back up a little enough to get off of there. So we should be good to go down there. Good morning, everybody. It is windy, raining. Kind of cold. <laughs> uh, did pretty good here last night. Uh, very quiet. The guy you can hear on the phone was like, oh, it's a rough area. It did look pretty rough, but I wasn't too worried. Just doing a quick walk around, not doing inspection. To make sure nobody messed with anything. Uh, he should be here in about five minutes. I think I might scoot up. I'm not sure yet, but looks like no one touched anything so we're gonna wait right here for him and then uh, get unstrapped I might move towards the middle and get unstrapped I'm not sure yet uh, we'll see but uh, hopefully get him 
unloaded and out of here by six o'clock is probably the goal. What's up guys? Uh, so we got unloaded. You like my jacket? Ooh, this one's so nice. <laughs> it's really uh, not thick at all. It's a rain jacket. Got it at Lowe's. I love Buffalo brand, these black high vis stuff. Uh, so the plan is we're waiting for another couple more minutes. I forgot to put my on duty while I was gonna load it. But we'll wait a couple minutes and then we're gonna head towards Certainteen, uh, that area. We're gonna try to get out from here. Hopefully we'll have a load by then. Uh, just want to get out of the San Francisco area. There's going to be no loads here. So, uh, we always head toward Certainteen or get sheetrock or U.S. pipe, <laughs> stuff like that. So we're going to head out of San Francisco. Um, hopefully you'll have a load because it's right now 6.15. So it should take about 30 minutes to get out of here. So I hope he has a load for me and we'll let you guys know. Um, I'm hoping a phoenix load will be my dream load i'm not gonna call because i'm going home next week i don't want to be a needy person but i can go home for a 34 and i hope i hope hope he knows that that i can get a load through the house and stuff like that so uh we're gonna wait just a couple more minutes and then we're gonna roll out of here and we'll see you guys on the next load